Hey everyone. So I'm gonna be going showing you guys some um new images. I think they were out like maybe yesterday. Um of some new animated images for um the next season. Now these are animated images. They're not these are usually not actual images from the actual show, but it does represent what they will actually look like in the show. So it's it gets it's sort of like a drawing or a picture of what they will actually look like in the show, but it's not an actual image from it. So I'm gonna go through the images that um, I have here and um, show you guys um, some of the new animated images. They're not the clearest. They're from the um, back of the box images here, like this right here, from the Moral Dragon, which is evil possessed Lloyd. We've seen him in the one image before in the episode 45 image, but now we see it here in this other animated photo. And then there's Kai. I think we've seen that photo before, but it does look very, very cool. And we get to see another, just another image of what Lloyd is going to look like when he's all evil and possessed by Moro. So you can see there, it's from the back of the Moro Dragon box. And now I'm going to go to this. This is Zane in the animated form. So it looks very cool. He's like the white ninja again, but he's still the titanium. You know, his new form and all that. And um, you can see there one of the ghosts. And you can see that the ghosts look, do, do look quite different compared to the sets. Well, obviously, they, they do and they don't. Because they seem like they glow more and all that stuff. Because, it's well, it's obviously the show. And they can't make a figure just glow. I mean, besides, I mean, they can't really technically do that. Like they do in shows. So, they do obviously look a little bit different. They look more detailed and spookier and all that stuff in the actual animated form. But... It does look very, very cool, and it is from the back of the Titan Mech Battle Box, so, yeah. So there's Zane, and then there is one of the ghosts. I've not really figured out, I've not really memorized their names yet. Okay, here's the back of the um, Master Wu Dragon set, and you can see here Sensei Wu in his new outfit in the animated form, and then you can see one of the ghosts there again with the ghost tail and all that stuff, and then they're kind of like... Um, glowing in the ghost sort of form, you know. These these ghosts look very, very cool. Um, but yeah, you can see Sensei there in his brand new suit, finally. Um, hopefully, I think, I don't know if that's the one in the show or not. I, I don't know. But he does get a new one in the show, so it's going to be very interesting to see that. And you can see there the ghost with his um, bow and arrow. So it does look very, very cool. And I cannot wait to see these um, characters in the actual TV show. Because these look very, very cool. It is again from the back of the box of the Master Wu Dragon set. You can see there, there, Cole being attacked by a Screamer. Apparently, Screamers can go on the figure's heads and make it look like they're being possessed in a way, you know, kind of being taken over by the Screamer probably for a little moment. Um, so, apparently, that's something they might do. Here is another ghost figure along with Cole. So, you can see there, Cole in his new animated form. And he's got uh, just another, like, a weapon there that, just an ordinary weapon that. We may build or get in a box in the in the sets. And you can see there's the new ghost sword for the ghost guy. And then it's got like a darker blue hood. Some of the ghosts have darker blue hoods, which look very, very cool. Because um, Jay obviously had the normal blue hood for his rebooted and tournament outfit. So this is like a darker blue hood that's coming for these figures. And then the blue uh, and the purple um, hat, like Sensei Wu's. So... I like that. I like those um, hats a lot. They look very, very cool. Um, so I, these ghost figures look so amazing. I mean, in there is the animated form, of course. And then it's from the back of the blaster bike. Cole's blaster bike. I think that's what it's called. So you can see there with the arrow blade. Um, one of the arrow blades to collect. There's five arrow blades to collect. And now I am going to be going to the Ronin Rex images. So this is actually, we're looking more at both of these images this time. Um, because you can see Ronin there, and then one of the ghosts. So they're both amazing photos, and what's different about the Ronin in this part is, in the game, he either had his whole um, hat off, and then he had his hair showing, you know, or he had his hat on and he just had his hat and mask. He didn't ever have his hair. Now the figure does not have his hair actually there, when he has his hat on, so it's not like a piece where you connect it somehow or anything like that. But they do in the anime in the animated image, you do get his hair showing with his hat on, but that's probably how he'll show in the sh it'll look like in the show. 
So that's why they're showing it like that there. But Ronin does not actually look like that in the figure or in the video game. In the video game, he either has his hat off with his hair or his hat on with just his hat. So the Ronin character does look very, very cool though. I wonder what he's going to do and how he's going to play a role next season. Knowing he was bad before in the game. So he's obviously going to somehow turn good. Or at least attack the ghosts. Who knows what path they'll go on. You can see the ghost there again with his different weapon. Um, like a weapon with... It's like a ghost sword weapon. But you know it's like... It's, it's just another whole weapon. It looks very, very cool. Like the glowing green and all that. It looks I mean, These ghost figures and characters look so amazing. And now it is... Again, from the back of the Ronin Rex um, set box, you know, we get those animated images like we get did with the snakes. You can see there's some of the things that are in there. Kai is in there, but um, with the air jitsu thing on this Ronin Rex. And here is Lloyd and Moro, probably two of the bigger characters, probably this season. Lloyd is going to be possessed by Moro, and Moro there, we finally get to see Moro clearly in his animated form. We saw him once at the end of episode 44, but we have not actually seen Moro clearly, like full on, like, because he was covered up by, like, a, um, wind, air jitsu, or whatever you want to call that, um, that he was using at the end of 44. So now we get to see him nice and clear. The swords that are meant to be, those swords in the sets will be glow in the dark, but, you know, it's just like all glowing there for the ghosts. You know, Moro looks very, very cool. He's got the black mask that was Cole's. Um, but yeah, he's like a glowing um, ghost ninja. And he's the master of wind, apparently. So, And then he will possess Lloyd. But it is from the final flight of the Destiny's Bounty. In which Moro is not actually possessing Lloyd in that set. So um, it's actually just Lloyd and Moro battling it off. Um, while they're separated. They're not actually like together. Moro didn't possess Lloyd yet. Or is already out of Lloyd or anything like that. Now, it seems like this set right here will be the only set, at least what it looks like, with the hair pieces in it. You can see Lloyd there in the bottom with his hair piece, and then you see a little bit higher. You can see Nia there. She has her hair piece, too. So, it does. it's just another proof that Nia is a ninja. Now, we just need to see if she will really be a um, ninja of water, um, I hope. But, um, I hope to really get the set. It's a really big set, so I don't know if I will end up getting it or not, but... Um, it does look like a very, very cool set, and I really do like these new animated images we have, because we get to see uh, what these characters will actually look like within the show, not just the figure images that we have gotten for a long time now. So we've got, we know what they look like as the figures, but now we kind of see what they will look like for the show. So they do look very, very cool and detailed, and I just cannot wait to get this season. Again, I do not know when this season will actually air. Um, for the United States, and I honestly don't know many air dates for anyone besides um, the UK or something like that. And they're gonna have it in like July something, I don't remember, but they're gonna have it in July. So I don't know if the United States will have it before or after that. I'm almost guessing after that, but you never know. Um, we haven't heard any news about that yet, but um, yeah, let me guys. Let me know what you guys think about these new images, and I think they're very, very cool. They're not perfectly clear, but it's the clearest we got of these new animated images of these ghost characters.